Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Cooking Homemade with Jill. So today, it's almost Easter, I should have probably been doing this a, a while ago, but today we're going to be making hot cross buns and which is a kind of a traditional Easter uh, sweet bread dough uh, with the, you know with the X in it. So I have assembled here, hold on a second, I've of course forgotten. Um, I want to start my uh, proofer going in my oven. So today I have my ingredients all assembled here. And so let's see how we get on. Um, so I have my mixing bowl, my mixer set up. And in this bowl, I should have gotten a larger one. There's a can of evaporated milk and along with a half a cup of melted butter. And it's, it's been warmed up. I've, I've checked the temperature. It's about 115 degrees or so. So this is, oh my gosh, a tablespoon and a half of yeast. This is instant yeast. So it's just gonna go pop it right in there. And I'm gonna just give it a, a little, a quick little stir with my spatula. Um, so also, um, the sugar, this is a half a cup of sugar. That's gonna go in because the yeast is gonna get hungry. And I just stir that around until the sugar dissolves a little bit. Not gonna worry about it a whole lot. Um, more interested in making sure all the yeast is down in the bowl where it needs to be. All right, so let me just stir that up for a bit. And next, I have a beaten egg. We're gonna put that in. Along with a teaspoon, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a teaspoon of cinnamon in here and a teaspoon of freshly ground nutmeg. Oh, I love nutmeg. They all go in there as well. So, and then, Goodness, my raisins. You know, this recipe that I'm doing did not call for raisins, and raisins are traditionally in a hot cross bun. So I'm adding raisins. It must be raisin haters out there. I love raisins. So we'll add some more towards the end, I think. So in here are um, five cups of flour. And I'm gonna just get things started. Be helpful if I plugged it in, huh? on low with my dough hook. My salt, as I said, was all in here. And we're just gonna start adding flour. Now, I don't know why, I don't recall having ever made hot cross buns before. So it's another experiment, folks. I do, I do like it. Should have probably been a scientist, except I couldn't figure out the math. Um, I do like to experiment and, and you, you know, brave people that will come along on the adventure with me. I do appreciate it. This mixer did come with one of those pour spouts. Yeah. I'm gonna stop this for a minute and scrape everything down because I have flour everywhere. And then, this is just gonna need for about eight to 10 minutes. I don't want to forget my raisins. I'm going to put those in more towards, um, maybe not. Maybe I'll just win them in now. 
see what happens. It's a pretty thick dough, huh? Okay, so we're gonna let that do its thing for about 10 minutes or so, and then we will be back and proceed. Okay, I'm back, and um, the dough has just been finished kneading for about uh, 10 minutes. It's a really stiff dough. Uh, so I'm gonna just, before I put it in the bowl, I'm gonna just have a quick go. At, I don't really need dough anymore. My um, friend won't let me, it hurts. So, uh, have my machine to do it. So this is either going to be delicious or hard as a rock. I'm not sure which. But then I haven't made um, something like this in a, in a while. I'm used to the pula dough, which is a much softer, more delicate dough than this. But hopefully this will taste good too. All right, and I have a greased um, bowl, plop that in and turn it over so the whole thing is greased. And then I'm covering it with some plastic wrap that I've sprayed with um, some cooking spray. And this is gonna go into my uh, proofing part oven setting for about an hour. And then we will be back and uh, take it from there. Hi everyone, I'm back and um, I've just taken the uh, hot cross bun dough out of the proofer and ooh, looking, looking pretty yummy. So what I'm gonna do now is just, I don't know, I think this is the kind of dough, I don't think it's going to like stick without the use of, of flour. So I'm gonna just uh, have a go with it without flouring my board and just see what kind of a mess I can get into here. So have a look. Um, <clears throat> this is my second challenge is getting this thing into 12 even pieces. So I think I'm gonna start by just cutting it in half. And then um, going from there. So this, each one of these logs should make like six, right? So let's cut it in half again. And then again, kind of like um, cinnamon rolls, right? All right. So I'm not a um, professional <laughs> roll former so bear with me but we'll give it a try and see how see how I make out you know what not bad not bad for somebody who doesn't do it very often All right they look really and they, they look good enough to um to eat yummy I want these maybe a little closer and they're almost touching because they've got to go in and do another rise. But I think the idea is that you kind of want the top smooth and people do all kinds of things to pinch the bottom together and then kind of roll it. <clears throat> around. This one's a little, a little big. Lost a reason. If your raisins do fall out, put them back in. I don't know, not looking terribly uniform, but anyway. All right, 
I'm gonna continue making the rest of these and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, there they are. My hot cross buns. I'm gonna just cover them with a tea towel and put them back in the proofer for I would say about another half hour to 45 minutes and then we will go from there. See you in a while. All right, the hot cross buns have risen for a second time. They're right here. And I'm just going to cut the traditional cross in the top of each one before they go in to bake. I don't have one of those fancy, I don't know, what do they call, lames? You know, the razor blade on a stick thing? <laughs> so we'll do it this way. And then when they're done and have cooled, oops, see that's why the lame is a little better, it doesn't tear. Um, after they're cooked, baked, and cooled, we will uh, frost them or put the traditional, you know, X frosting uh, on them. So in they go at 350 for about um, 25, 30 minutes till they reach an internal temperature of 190 degrees. So I'll be back in a little while. Okay, so these have just come out of the oven and I'm going to just double check their internal temperature. It should read um, 190 degrees, which is what that one's reading. So I'm going to just um, have them cool here on my rack for a while. And uh, after they've cooled down, I'll be back and we will frost them. Okay, so I'm back and here are the um, hot cross buns. I've just finished uh, putting a little frosting on them. This was just a quick frosting with, um, you know, confectioner sugar, a little butter, a little milk, and a little vanilla. And I have tried the little Easter set up here and have tasted these and they're really really quite tasty very special for this season so i hope you will try um, this recipe and let me know what you think uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do so i very much appreciate it and um, i'll have the recipe and some affiliate links uh, in the description below and hope you take advantage of those and i wish you all a happy easter Thanks for watching.